I'm John Gregory, and I can't stop rock climbing. I do it every day if I can, you know, for any reason. Um, it, takes a, it takes a very bad day for me to give it up. I'm from East Longmeadow, Massachusetts. My grandfather was one of the founders of the Boy Scouts of America. And then my father was dragged into it, kicking and screaming, and made sure I was never a Boy Scout. But the values got communicated. They're great for this, because they never wear out, and they don't gunk up the rope with the aluminum oxide that you get from the peeners most people use. After graduate school, uh, I came back here to work for the federal government. And being really bored working for the federal government, uh, I ran into a guy that I worked with who was climbing. And he brought me out here and then suggested that I take a course from a guy who taught here. So I took a, a one-day course in 1975, and um, I've been climbing ever since. Can't seem to stop. responsibility for stewardship outdoors came from looking around and seeing what was happening over time. Since I started in the 70s, things have changed a lot. Before there were climbing gyms, this is what you had. It had its own uh, culture, and that culture was, you know, climbing outside, um, traditional climbing, uh, very much stewardship because we, you know, we took care of the place ourselves. This project to control erosion here started in 1981. And I started it because in 1981, the river froze solid during the winter. And then the, the ice, when it broke up, tore away the bank. We brought in 82 railroad ties that we got from the B&O Railroad, then brought in 20 tons of rock and soil to restore the bank. My favorite place climbing is still the Tetons. The most surreal place, I think, is Devil's Tower. And that's because it's an enormous plug of uh, what had been a volcano. And you climb up a corner, you know, for hours, and then you suddenly pop out onto a plateau in the middle of the sky. And you can see for hundreds of miles around. The other place that I, um, that I need to get back to is the Wind River Ranch in Wyoming. It's the largest wilderness area in the lower 48. And it has the largest glaciers in the lower 48, although they're disappearing at an alarming rate. I was last there in 1979 and climbed Gannett Peak, which is the highest peak in Wyoming. I took a picture there of the glaciers in 1979. Last year, a friend of mine took the same picture, same spot, no glaciers. It reminds you that this is not permanent. Nature changes and evolves over time, so we have to do the best we can. Climbers get to see places that other people don't. You can't see those glaciers in the winds. They're three days from the nearest road and about 5,000 feet up. We see those places, whether it's in the Tetons or the, uh, the winds or even right here. Well, you see it over time and you see it with a, with a purpose. You see it with an eye that identifies the conditions in, in the environment. In order to climb, you've got to find your way, you've got to find your route. And so we look at conditions and we're always attuned to them. The, the great thing about climbing is it's just like life, only better. Because it's fair. Life is not fair.